Justin had an awesome weekend. Now that it's Monday morning, he's taking the good vibes into the office and surprising his work pals with donuts. Problem is, tasty treats aren't the only thing he's about to share. <laughs> Justin thinks he's got his usual allergies, but he actually has COVID-19. Now, he's sprinkled his hands and the air around him with those germs. In real time, as Justin says good morning to John and Ashley grabs her favorite Boston cream, those germs have hitched a ride on two new hosts. With a rub of the eyes and a gulp, they're through the human front door and ready to get down to the business of making people sick. <coughs> a little later, George comes with the mail. Justin offers him a donut and with a tickle in his throat, turns his head to cough. <coughs> Justin says bye to George and leaves the virus behind. George starts making his deliveries. And, as you can see, there's no return to sender on Justin's leave behind. All it takes is some time in the office, and those droplets can get in the mouth, nose, or eyes to start an infection. When it's time to call it a day, Ashley brings the infection onto the train. She hasn't washed her hands in hours. The germs covering them make a pit stop on the grab bar before finding a home on some new hands. A few cars over, Justin is coughing again. In these tight quarters, that's bad news. He and his fellow passengers get off the train and head to their homes. The spread continues. With symptoms, Justin should have stayed home. But what if his day looked like this? He wears a mask, and so does everyone in the office. He brings lunch, but skips sharing donuts. <laughs> Sneezes are buried in the mask and elbow, followed by hand sanitizer to be safe. All day long, hands get washed regularly. Masked coworkers don't touch their eyes, noses, or mouths, and they keep a safe distance. By following those steps, Justin's germs could have stayed away and slowed the pace of the spread. 